Hi, my name is Susana Lopez and today we're going to be doing some pet rocks. So the materials that we need today are acrylic paint, some pebbles, garden pebbles, your brushes, we need some palettes and uh, mostly bright uh, acrylic colors. Oh, and we need some varnish to give it a last coat. Okay, to begin with, we need to wash all our rocks. You need to take away the, the, the little powder they come with this coating. So you need to wash them, dry them, and after they're done, then you can start sketching. So for example, um, I'm do I had some uh, fish, I have some uh, piglets. This is one of my favorite. And of course, I love this little bird. I think we're gonna start with the little piglet, which is the easiest. So you can use different stones uh, to have maybe a little family of piglets. The first thing you do is you choose the rock that you're going to use and it has to have a certain shape. So you look at the rock and you think, okay, this one calls for a giraffe or this one feels like a bird. You just have to choose just the right one. This one over here. Okay, so we use some paint. Okay, maybe you can use a pen, a pencil just to remind you where you want to start. For example, here, this is going to be my face. So I will do maybe two eyes here, a little ears, and we'll do the wiggly tail. And we use a thick brush to start with the background and you cover the whole surface. You let it dry for a while and maybe you can do brother and sister. You can do the whole pebble, you can do underneath, or you can do just the surface. You do one coat first, and then you'll come back for a second one. Now we'll just wait for it to dry. Okay, so once it's dry, this is only the first coat. As you can see, I still see my fingerprints and I can see some imperfections. So you have to give it one or two coats before you're ready to go. So I have my painting here, and this will be my second coat. So this is going to be the front, and then spread the color. The second base, you can focus mostly on the top. You mix your shades until you have the right color, whatever you want. Okay, this is the second coat, and now we're going to dry it again. I'm going to use my hair dryer. Okay. This was my second layer, and now everything is a little bit more uniform, okay? So now what we're gonna do is, we're going to draw the faces on the brother and sister. And then you wanna see where do you want to have the little tail, and where do you want to have the face. So now for this, you can use either a marker, you can use a, a black marker, or you can use um, acrylic paint as well, whichever you want. You take a little darker pink, and then you draw your little snout here. You make a little oval. And again, this is the first layer. And you just let it dry. You go back to this other one, and then you have your eyes, two little eyes, and you have the ears. You do two little triangles here. Now we're going to do the little piggy tail. You just do a little S in the back, something like that. And then you go back and you do a second layer of the snout. And so our piglets have their eyes, but now you want to take a little white paint, take a little dot and put it right in the middle. You can do one or you can do two. This adds a little personality. You want to add some pink color on the inside of the ear, a little bit here, maybe a little bit on the side, like that. Okay, and now the last little, little detail, we'll put two little dots on the snout, the little nose here, so we do one here and one here, and this guy over here, the same, with one little dot here and one little dot here, that's the little nose. After we finish all the little details on your piglet, the tail, the ears, the eyes, everything, the last step is to have some varnish on top. You can use glue as well, it doesn't really matter. You take some nice thick brush, take some varnish, and then you give it a coat. 
Be generous with it. Don't go and add it too many times or the color will spread, okay? So while we wait for the three brothers to dry, we're gonna start with a little pet cheek, a little yellow pet cheek. So we have already done the base color. It can be any color you want. You can even keep it white, but I think yellow is quite uh, striking. This is still hot from the dryer, but it's perfectly happy. And now he can join his friends. So be creative, give them eyebrows, give them eyelashes, give them big smiles. You can do anything you want with your pets. Okay, I hope you had fun. Thank you.